Welcome to the Duke Campus Farm. I'm Dr. Saskia Corns and I'm the program director here. Here at the Duke Campus Farm, we work with Duke undergraduate, graduate, and professional students to grow thousands of pounds of produce each year. We use this as a living laboratory to catalyze positive change in the food system. Hey everyone, my name is Floey Zhao. I am a junior and this is my second year um, as a student farm crew member here at the Duke Campus Farm. This farm is a great space where all the focus can be on food studies um, and integrating all of those disciplines together and this place has really given me a lot of hands-on experience and I think that over the course of my Duke career I've gained a lot of confidence on this land, um, especially being able to hone my own skills and eventually teach them to other students um, at Community Work Days. So one of my hopes for the Duke Campus Farm is to really see it expand, um, both because of the core crew and because of the student crew. Personally, uh, I'm working on a school project to analyze the soil and the hydrology and the life that already exists at our new site in on Central Campus. And none of that land has been touched yet, so I'm really excited to dive in and connect my job here with my schoolwork. Some of the things we have here on site, we have a passive solar high tunnel, a heated greenhouse for a propagation operation. We have one acre of organically grown vegetables, some educational spaces like this kakalaki garden here behind me, some hugel culture beds, about a dozen beehives, a pollinator garden. So I'm standing here in front of our bed of colored cottons. Um, you might know that cotton is a was a huge economic driver, both of plantation slavery and of the economy of the South. And what you may not know is that cotton comes in a whole range of naturally occurring colors. Here we go, green and brown cotton. And when I say that cotton is brown, what I mean is the, the plant itself expresses the fiber in this beautiful kind of light brown color. Um, this cotton has an interesting history. It has been passed down over multiple generations um, and survived from the days of plantation slavery up into the present and it survived mostly within African-American communities. These colored cottons were often grown in what were called provision grounds, so semi-autonomous zones within plantation systems where enslaved families grew crops for their own domestic use, including crops for, um, for textiles. So these colored cottons have a, a, um, a wonderful story to tell about resilience and survival and suffering under that system, and that's why we grow them here. One of my favorite parts of working here on the farm is to be able to not only experience growing food for myself, but to be able to contribute to solving some of the intractable issues in the food system. And one of those is just access to good, fresh produce by, for people who need it most. So it's great to be part of a program where we donate our produce to Root Causes, which is a program through the Duke Health Center that provides food to 200 families. So we're doing our small part to help these families who otherwise don't have access to fresh produce, either because it's too expensive or because they live in food deserts, to have food that is both good for them and good for their land. The farm offers one credit-bearing academic course each year. You can look out for courses like Nature, Culture, Gender, Food, Farming, Feminism, Land and Literature. And every other year we offer a Duke Immerse program called Imagining the Future of Food. You can check out all of those things on our website, farm.duke.edu. And we also work with about a dozen faculty members each year who either come out to the farm um, for tours and visits and sometimes to actually do physical work on the farm and sometimes we bring the farm actually onto the campus. Behind me is a mural that was part of a collaboration that we did with the professor in anthropology, Charlie Thompson, and a wonderful mural artist, Durham resident and former farm worker named Cornelio Campos. Cornelio and Charlie worked together with a group of Duke students who traveled all around this region visiting us visiting um, Student Action with Farm Workers, visiting the Stag Hill Historic Plantation, Episcopal Farm Worker Ministry, to gather stories, images, and ideas for the history of labor on this particular piece of ground. And this is the beautiful design that, that they came up with. You can see it represents some of the first peoples, the Okanichi Band and the Saponi, 
uh, migrant workers, their current working conditions, their successful protests in these regions, downtown Durham and Black Wall Street, the cowrie shells that were found in the foundation of some buildings at this Stagfield Historic Plantation that were brought over from Africa by enslaved peoples. Um, many of the students and the people that they talked to, their hopes and dreams for this region. I want to let you know that this farm was started by students. So this farm is really your farm too, and I really encourage you to come out here and visit us and to reach out about how to get involved with food systems work at Duke and beyond. Hey friends, I'm Melissa Keeney. I'm the program assistant at Duke Campus Farm. I encourage you to stay connected through our newsletter, which you can sign up on our website at farm.duke.edu and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Duke Campus Farm.